have finished the blue wave and rocks on our outdoor shower wall. So now it is time to begin the earth bagging portion of the wall, but we are in need of more dirt. All right, Bri. Well, this is going to be our natural swimming pool, right guys? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Beautiful natural swimming pool, if I may add myself. We're gonna start digging it out. Don't really usually dig with a skid steer, but as you can see, it's already kind of dug out. So I'm really just clearing dirt out of it. And it might do a little bit of scraping along the sides and stuff, depending on what we decide. It's yeah. gonna be epic, isn't it, Ma? Yeah. We just want to get the dirt out of it because we ran out of dirt. It's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna use this dirt to finish filling the bag for our outdoor shower. Whoa, look at that pile. That is an awesome pile. Well, got a whole slug of really good ones. Nice. Yeah, those are really good ones because if you don't get the good ones, you're in a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's like you cut up four pallets to get the same amount of boards you would from just cutting up one yeah. nicer one, you know? We got our pallets from a lot of different places yeah, over the years. <laughs> yeah, but recently we've come to discover that our local hardware store, we called them up one day and asked them if they had any, and sure enough, they actually stack them back behind the store. And lets people take them, and if not, then they put them in the dumpster. Baby. Where do you want your new piece of grass, Ma? <laughs> <laughs> a little nice block of uh, dirt. Here, we'll put it in the wall. Sure. Right here, don't you think? Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I think I want to start on that side, Bryson, because that looks like an uphill battle. I, I agree. I think we just went down the center, if I remember right before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on, and then we have a cleat that we're gonna put. Right here, we got these sticking up nails into there. Okay, then we'll lay back. Very cool. Should work. More. Then we're gonna mortar all the way up here and get bagging. That's not a bad idea, Mom. Mom's genius right here. <laughs> so we're gonna try the little grocery bag in here because I cut it a little too short. Good chance of that splitting open, but we're gonna try it because we just think it's fun to try. Yeah, why We not? can make a shopping bag house. That'd be hilarious. What a use for bags, huh? Yeah. Ready to give go her a try? Oh, go slow. And if you had it double bagged, it would work. Yeah, I'll tape it. <laughs> the other side didn't bust out, though. Oh. Oh, it's sticking out quite a bit. Oh, I'll have to tamp it in. I'm happy. All right, what are we doing, darling? Building some doors. Getting started, just kind of laying it out. See what we got to work with. Woo. So we need two more boards, do we? Uh, 52 is there, looks like one more board. This isn't gonna be too bad, I don't think. I think we just do this and then do it again down here. Yeah. And then slab them together. Build our barn door frame. Yeah, easy peasy. No problem. It's a very precise process. Oh yeah. Picking out the perfect ones. Yeah, these are gonna be some rough doors, aren't they? Yeah, they stand up nice though. We got the wave in that one. So it'll be this in the center and then a frame. Yeah. And then we'll do our cross pieces, right? Yeah. We just need to find out how wide these are. Yeah, three and five eighths. Okay. 44 and three quarters is what we want this board to be. So we'll cut that. Perfection. I hope so. I'm gonna mark the center of this board. This is only 80 inches long. We need it 81 inches long. So we're gonna put a one inch gap in the middle of this board. And that's gonna allow us to uh, squeak that other inch out of there. Yeah. And you're not gonna be able to see this because they're gonna be... Sandwiched. It's gonna be sandwiched. Let's take and let's set, like you said, 
These boards on here, so right in there is where that one needs to start. It's the beauty of working with pallets, as long as it's close. Let's make a mess and nail some of these together. Pull this side forward. This tree, if it doesn't move, we're gonna have to chop it down. We're gonna try our last little hope. We got a comment on taking this and notch it. It will move easier that way too. And then you just notch the trunk. He said about halfway through, so you do like a V, I guess. That or the whole thing goes. Yeah, let's it, try it. I it think it's a good moving, idea. moving, but it's not moving fast enough for us. <laughs> It'll be funny, we misread the comment and we like kill the tree. <laughs> How many cuts do you say, like three of them? Okay. What do you think? Okay. Good idea? Yeah. It definitely feels looser, no? Okay. Should we be able to lift this higher, though? Hey, maybe we the should do that. Point? Should we do that? Well, it's definitely moving. Do that for now. Go a little bit more later. Yeah. There's hope. I, I, it looks like it's going to move. I don't see this killing the tree. I don't either. Hey, that's almost out of our way. <laughs> <laughs> This board's kind of warped, so we're going straight to screws, right? Yeah, I think so. If we just do one per board, that should be enough, right? I'm kind of hoping we can screw it together in the back and then have the front not have any screws. Yeah, that'd be really cool. We'll see. What do we do next? We don't need to flip it over, do we? I don't think so. I think we can add the frame, huh? Yeah, I think you're right. All right, that's looking good, babe. Yeah, it's a little bit... You know that. <laughs> We decided to not sand any of it though, so once we sand it, yeah. it's gonna look very different. Got a lot of flims to it right now. These two edges aren't tied in yet, and they're gonna get a lot of structure to this thing. And also the back of it, it's just one side. So we need to flip it over now? Flip it over, get, finish the sandwich. Pretty heavy door. <laughs> I think that was 30 pallet boards, just the length ones. Wow, now we just gotta do the same to this side. See if it stays together, huh? Yeah. You're just pulling nails out with your hands? Yeah, because I'm just that strong. <laughs> so my, my green vegetables I occasionally eat. We learned from the other bottle wave that we did that we really needed mortar from the top of the bottles to the bottom because we were putting them in sideways kept them from collapsing in on itself when, when weight's on top of it. So the really neat thing about you only wanting the center of the bottle is that we have all of this mortar now that's really strong and I have no fear that we're gonna lose any bottles. Now I'm gonna mm -hmm. say that I don't wanna jinx us or anything. It's so sturdy. I feel like pff, no problem. We're gonna be able to put those bags on top of it without issues. How has it been tamping on this stuff? Has it moved at all? Been just perfect, don't you think? Solid? Yeah, it's been, pretty it's, solid? it's been worked really well. Right. I think it would be cool to take grocery bags, fill them up with dirt, and make a house out of them. I think it would work if you doubled the grocery bottle. I think that's just so cool. Oh, look at those. Do you see the grocery bag doesn't breathe? Yeah, I was wondering about yeah, that. You have to put a little hole in it. I guess that's something you, you don't think about, that these things need breathable to dry out. Yeah, you don't right? think about that, but you're right, it's very much breathable. All right. I'm just gonna go screw crazy and we're gonna put a bunch of screws in. I think the spots that really matter the most are like the center of the door, you know? So like this board here is gonna get one on each board. We talked about not putting screws in the front, but. It's gonna make it way more solid. Plus screws don't look bad. No, we'll just make sure we do them nice and pretty. Right? Are you under? Hey, Dad. Yuck. Screw please. Hey, that door looks like it's strong enough to hold an azalea. <laughs> yeah. We came over a little too far with our slats, so I'm gonna just trim the edges now and make it an actual 52 inch door. So I'm gonna run the saw down, make it look nice. This will also be the side that you see. Ooh, that looks good. about 
ready to start the uphill battle. With all the uphill battles that we could go uphill for, this is probably the best, most preferable. <laughs> For this tree not being in the way, it sure is in the way. Oh, we need that barb, don't we? Oh, barb, yeah, guys. Go back to the old barbaroo. The barbarian. The barbecue. The barbat. Like the barb mitzvahs? Yes. <laughs> That's trying to think. <laughs> oh, you know what, though, Bryson? He's not much of a ledge. What? We, allegedly. We took the legend. We really have that can do spirit. Have I said that one before? I don't know, you tell me. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, I can. <laughs> Getting away from you with the water, man. You always splash me. Mama accidentally spritzed us as we well, spritz and then spray with water. Yeah, <laughs> spray with water. Because we have a lot of water that we work with in projects. But I'll tell you something. The other day, mom got me so bad. I was sobbed. I was sobbed from my head to my feet. I had it sprinkled all over my face. I don't think I've ever been accidentally gotten that bad before. It was hilarious Whenever. and tragic all at once. <laughs> I'm gonna start sanding it down, huh? See how much we regret not sanding it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We normally sand everything before we put it together, but it would have taken probably a day of sanding to do all the boards individually, rather than just put them all together and do it like this. And because of the way the door is, we can get away with still having a nice finish. Right on the center line of the door here is this main brace here. We didn't have long enough boards to go to end to end, so it's not actually connected. We decided to make a few metal brackets, I guess, that are gonna go on the inside of the door. That should be plenty fine, though, to hold this door nice and solid. I'm gonna throw a quick coat of paint on these suckers, make them look nice, and then probably we'll start throwing some screws in the door. Getting ready to put our plates on for our structure here. You can see here we got a little bit different height on these two pieces because it's just different wood thicknesses. So I need to trim that out a little bit, kind of cut it out like you would hinge. Put these both on, and then this door will be ready for polyurethane. I guess black screws would have been a little bit nicer. It's good and solid now. No more flex on the trim pieces here. This one's ready to be polyurethane, but I think we're gonna go ahead and get the other door built first. Yeah, polyurethane is fast. That's a sweet looking door, isn't oh, it? it looks so good, babe. We're gonna build something for the handles. Yeah, something out of metal. Yeah. That'll kind of match the hardware of the runners. Do you do three? I think you build three handles, don't we? Three. Yeah, this door here goes against the wall, so it's the furthest door out. Um, so you'll see the whole door. So I think you have a handle on the front door here and there. And so you can pull door. it open and pull it shut. And then on the back door, you have one handle. I guess I, we talked about it. It doesn't need three handles. I'm going crazy. You have two, because then the one pushes the other door. Forget I said anything. Two handles. <laughs> The second door is all built. Nice. All the sanding and everything. Yeah. Should we set them yeah. up next to each other? See what they look like? Yeah, let's set them up and then we gotta we gotta polyurethane too, don't we? Yeah. Is it really heavy? It's not too bad. It's just it's really awkward. awkward. If only you had a wife who could help you <laughs> standing right here. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That polyurethane? Let's do the polyurethane, yeah. We got the doors finished as far as building them goes. We got a little handle stuff to do, and of course the whole hinge system and mounting them, but building. they're ready to go inside almost, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They turned out really cool. It's, we've never built anything quite this big with pallets, and it, it, just, it was really fun. It came together pretty quick. Yeah, yeah you can't really tell in, in the video, but these are really big doors, and they look Awesome. They do. They look so awesome. I'm so excited to see them in the room. They look really cool. Mm -hmm. That closet is quite the eyesore, unfortunately, because it is amazing. I it's love starting it. to look tacky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not as clean as we had hoped. <laughs> Okay, right there, and Bria, I think it went here too. It's going everywhere, Mom. We're gonna chip off the old block. They get worse as I keep going. All right, that's that one. They're so cute.
That wraps up this week's weekly peek. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm not Brie. Also to the t-shirt of this week, Desert Swirl Cactus. You can get the t-shirt version, but I have a sweatshirt version on. It's very cool and very, actually very warm too, because it's a sweatshirt. It is a 15% off this week, so be sure to head in there. You can get the sweatshirt, you can get the t-shirt. Take a look around, there's all kinds of good things. Also too, we worked with the skitter quite a bit this week, so that might be another t-shirt to take a look at. I am going to be building a little corner cabinet for our master bedroom bath, pouring my own sink. So it's actually a, a countertop and sink. So that's coming up in the future. So it's very exciting to have you with us this week. We're excited to see you next week. Bye. People ask about the kind of dirt we put in these things. It's very hard. I don't think I can break that, but like you can see, it's very tough. Anyway, there you go. Kind of got this in a jam. <laughs> I'll have to have Bryce and help me get it out because I can't get it out over that. Oh, oh it'll tip up. Oh no, it's stuck. family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Come on, Chipper Doo. Oh, what are you whining about, dude? <laughs> like a giant root that goes like straight down. See it? See it there, like That's those. the root system of the yucca. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah, we don't need that can anyway. This one might be a reach, but I think that ladder brings you to new heights. Did they leave you out here? Unbelievable. <laughs>